Hi everyone and welcome back. So in last week's video I talked about the mold to make these cell phone stands and that a lot of people have said they were disappointed in the mold that it wasn't thick enough that it bent that the their end product bent or slumped or just wasn't strong enough and I believe it's not the mold that it is either cure time or the type of epoxy that they used or both so I said that today I would do a comparison of the different epoxies that I have used and my results with the same mold in all of them so in the one on the left I used diamond clarity which is a coating and casting resin. For the pink one, I used Art and Glow, which is a casting and coating epoxy resin. For the purple one, I used Envirotex Light, which is a coating and tabletop resin. For the red and black one, I used Total Boat Epoxy, which is for coating and tabletops, bar tops, things like that. And the one on the way right, I used Amazing Clear Cast, which is for casting and coating. That is the one I used in last week's video to embed the photo. So all of them except for the one I did last week. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. All have had two to three months cure time. This one from last week's video has had two weeks cure time. Each one of them is set in front of the resin that I used to make them and now I will set either a cell phone, I don't have five cell phones obviously, so a cell phone, a remote control, a battery pack, something like that on them for weight and then I will just let them set for 24 hours, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see how they held up. And some of them because they're coating resins, they're never going to be strong enough to hold up. And some casting resins are never strong enough to cast this type of thing. They're great for casting smaller objects, but not where you need this kind of strength. So anyway, I will put the weight on them and then we will check back tomorrow. So I will see you then. Bye bye for now. Hi guys. So we are back with our results. And I just wanted to show you first of all what the mold is that we're using and it is this pink cell phone stand mold that I got from Amazon and I can include a link for that. A lot of people have done reviews on it and not been super thrilled with it but like I said earlier I don't think it's the mold I think it's the resin and the cure time because I have had some great results with that. So here we are with the Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity and it is starting to slump. It's going a little crooked and both parts are slumping. It slumped really bad at three weeks. And it's slumping now at three months cure time and who wants to wait three months to use their cell phone stand? Now the Art and Glow Casting and Coating Epoxy Resin, it's holding up better. It's still just starting to slump, but this is at the three month mark. If this wasn't sitting on here for 24 hours, I'm sure it would do better. If we took it apart and laid it flat when we weren't using it, it would probably be fine. The Envirotex Light, it's a bomb for this project. It works fantastic in other projects. All of these resins work fantastic for certain projects. We're just talking about this project. So for this cell phone stand that needs to be very strong, Envirotex Light is not the resin that you want to use. It is a coating resin and a tabletop resin. Works fantastic for tabletops. It's self-leveling. I love it, but not for this project.
The Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, same thing. It's great for casting small items, um, tabletops, bar tops, things like that. But in this project, it is slumping at the three month mark. At the three week mark, it slumped quite badly. The Amazing Clear Cast has only had two weeks cure time and it is doing very well. It also does pretty good at the four day cure time, but I like to give it a little longer just because the longer you give it, the better it cures. All of these, the longer you give it, the better it cures. You can unmold all of these at 18 to 24 hours, but that doesn't mean they're strong. Sometimes you can leave fingerprints, things like that. So my recommendation anytime you do this cell phone stand is that when you're done using it, you just take it apart and lay it flat. Just store it flat. It's not going to hurt a thing. It's easy to transport that way, put away whatever, and then you'll make sure that it's not going to slump. But with the amazing clear cast, if you give it at least two weeks, you're going to have a good product that's nice and strong. So please remember that my opinion of these is just my opinion, and that's only as it relates to the cell phone stand. Each one of these resins is fantastic for specific use, uses, and I have used every one of them for casting different items. Just in this application, I like the Amazing Clear Cast the best. My second choice would be the Art and Glow, but it needs a lot of cure time. So that's my video for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you found this information at all helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. I would be happy to answer whatever questions I can. And I will see you all next week. Have a great week. Bye-bye for now.